optimizing your diet for health is a key strategy to improve it. And many of us, although not certainly the entire medical community, have found and are endorsing uh, ketosis or primarily using healthy fats and relatively low carbohydrates as a way to do this. And Gary Taubes has written a new book, The Case for Keto, and we're going to dive much deeper into the details of why this is so. There are a lot of hormones that play a role in fat accumulation, sex hormones primarily, but the hormones that link our diet to obesity is uh, our insulin and glucagon. When you're talking about the influence of diet on obesity, it's not because we eat too much, it's not because we eat too much energy dense food. Again, it's the glycemic index of the carbohydrates, how quickly we digest the carbohydrates in our diet, and then the fructose content of you know, the, how sweet they are, the sugar content. One of the problems in this field, of course, is knowing who to believe. Um, but I really thought about it as, you know, it's a process of self-experimentation. You fix the big things, which we can all agree on, and even the low-fat proponents and the vegan proponents would define their diets as healthy if they don't include sugar and sugary beverages and white bread. And then you start manipulating the smaller things to find out what your body can tolerate and what can't, and that's part of the process of learning how to think about how to eat. You know, we all have, we learned over our youth what we liked and what we didn't like. And then when we became adults, we, we refined our taste and we changed how we ate again. And now rather than doing it based on taste, we're gonna do it based on how it makes our bodies feel and perform. And when we do that, you know, that's, that's the one advice we can give everyone to help them get healthier.